Hey guys, welcome to the new video of AG Framework. Today we are going to install the new Quasar Drug Creator script for 5M. So first of all, you need to visit their official website. I'll give you the link in description. After reaching through the website, you need to go to the scripts section. After clicking through the scripts section, you can find multiple scripts. But today we are going to install the Quasar Drug Creation here. You can see, just click on it here. You can see it's loaded, the all preview and proper specification. You can create your own drug. You can create the visual effect and the zone selection with the NPC processing and lab laboratory and inventory configurations. First of all, you need to log in with your CFX ID as I am logged in after that click on add to cart and sign in with 5M. Then click on cart. After that, click on checkout. The Quasar script provides us some special created discount coupon code. So first of all, if you want this coupon code, you need to join our Discord server and avail the coupon code for every customers and it's unlimited use. If you want to use one time, you can use one time. If you want to buy two script from this discount coupon, you can buy that. And for that, you need to join our Discord server. After availing the discount coupon, you can get your script on your key master here. You can see the drug creator, then click on download and save it to your computer after downloading the script. Click on extract here, then copy the extracted file and paste it to your main server directory. As I am pasting it here after that, open the drug creator script here. You can see multiple files. So first of all, you need to open the SQL to inject our database and open the QB section. After opening the SQL with the Visual Studio code, you need to copy the SQL and open your database and select your data table and make a new query to insert the data and paste the selected SQL file. As you can see, I pasted it. Then close the SQL and then close the SQL file also. As if you are using ESX, you can use the ESX version. And if you wanna upgrade it, you drug creator because drug creator lights also there. So if you are using light, then use the upgrade SQL alt in. Unless you don't use this as I am just showing you the how to insert this, just copy open it, open the database, and same goes to that and paste this as I can see. I have already put the database. You don't need to put it again. Then open the maps here. You can see the Quasar drug creator map and then open the images. You can find the all images. Just copy it and paste it to your designated inventory as I am using OX inventory and just paste it to the web. Then images section and then replacing some images after that. Open the truck creator here. You can find multiple configurations. First of all, you need to open their documentation. I will give you the link in description for the Quasar documentation. Here you can find the truck, truck creator, then click on inventory items as I am using OX inventory. I will just click on OX inventory section. If you are using any other inventory, you can choose between them, then copy the inventory item and paste it here. OX inventory or your designated inventory that you are using, go to the data item. Lua then paste it, that's it. Then close the file, open the drug creator again, then go to the config file here. You can find multiple configuration files. First of all, open the main config.lua here. You can find your preferable languages as I am using English. So I will just leave it default. Then you can find the multiple supported framework as I am using QB code. Just leave it none, or you can just select your dependency to QB core because it works on standalone function without any issue. After that, select the bank type as I am using default system, so I will just leave it on blank. Then you can use the lab menu for the opening lab menu configuration and same goes to the decorator with the mapping of F9. And you can see the high decorator menu and also you can use the modern decorator mode for the modern interior or cell. Same goes to the currency system. You can change the currency depend on your server. You just leave it on default and you can find the cells and with the stash configuration on default section, I just leave it on default. Same goes to the police blip and set it. The blip notification will come and don't change anything about this. And same goes to controls. You can also change the camera position and add multiple items for your custom trucks. As you can see, it's an example of a custom truck. Also, if you are using five guard script, you can just enable it for this protection. Then scroll it down, you can check the lockpick item in and the police can breach your lab with police drum and you can enable or disable the raid also. And you can also select the police job. Here you can see the police job should be only the police. That's it. And XP can select minimum one, two, three XP for the level. 
and all the packages, detail, and pricings, you can select it without any issue with the reward system. Same goes the money laundering and selling system. It's pretty configurable and almost everything is defaulted config. You don't need to change anything about that. You can see the all type appearance. It's already loaded without any issue. So you don't need to worry about that. Same go to the target system. If you are using any type of target system, you can enable it and just make it through and save this file and close the main configuration file, then open the furniture. Lua here, you can find all type of additional configuration for the furniture. You can add any furniture prop that you want to make customly. You can make it and add it without any issues with the proper dynamic features. So you don't need to worry about that. And next we will go to the screen Lua. Same goes to the same configuration with the prop. Uh, Tim will just close this file, open the shared section. Here you can find the function and utility. Lua. If you want to change any type of function that your framework support, you can change it over there. After that, you don't need to change anything about this. Just copy the file and paste it. Your mind directly and run it. It will run automatically without any issue. And same goes to the maps. Just ensure this into your server. CFG, as I am doing, save the server a CFG and run your server. Now let's see how the drug creator script works in game. Hey guys here, you can see I am in game. Quasar drug creation is working properly without any issues. For seeing the UI, you need to type Quasar drug creation. Here you go, then press enter. Here you can see create post. You need to give the name of the post. I'll just give the name. And here you can see the three method of lab creation. First is the field creation. Second is the laboratory creation. And third is the seller creation. First, we need to create the field. So we need to select the amount of wheat trees are planted at right now. So I'll just make it five, five is the minimum number. And then we can also enable the bleep of the field. I'll just make it false for now and create the post first. Here you can see it has multiple options, meth, weed, heroin, cocaine, and you can add your own custom also. First of all, we need to create our main drug is weed. I will just create the weed first. And here is the zone placing. Here you can see I have created a proper zone. Just press enter. Here is the plant of weed. Here you can see I need to place five plants. Here you can see I have planted. And that's it, that's it. We planted our trees without any issue here. You can see I am collecting the weed from the field without any issue with proper working. After that, we need to create the laboratory for the weed processing. For that, we need to go to the laboratory location here. You can see I am at the laboratory point. Same command for creation, a laboratory drug, creator, then create a post, then go to the laboratory tab and provide a name of weed lab, weed lab, and you can set the price. I'll just make it 50. You can also enable the blip. I'll just make it false and create the lab. You can set the over point. I'll just place it here. Here you can choose the interiors. It's downloading. Here you can see, you have multiple options of interiors. You can add your own cell also. I'll just give this a try. And here is the entity point. You need to rotate it properly for the entry. Here you can see, and it is worked without any issue. You need to take a tour. You can get tour. You need to see the contract. You can see the contract easily without any issues. Let me give you the tour. Here you can see, I will give you the tour. You can see the timer of the tour. It gives you the one minute timer for the tour. You can press G to exit the door easily without any issues. You can see the proper interior. You need to furnish it. You can easily do the furnishing job. I will show you after that here. You can see the timer is over now. We need to see the contract and buy it here. You can see we buy the contract. Now we need to decorate our lab for that. We need to type lab menu here. You can see the laboratory menu or weed lab here. You can see the level of the lab and it's the decoration and you can also sell the lab and it's the all status of the closet's door, unlock, public status, private status and other things also. And you can also give the keys to anyone. Click on decorate lab at the full fledged decoration menu. We'll choose the weed section. Here is the weed lab system. I'll just make it down. If you want to rotate, you can rotate it here. You can see and just bite. And you can see we bite that. You can buy multiple things for the setup. For now, it's just enough for the setup. And you can see the interaction option. 
I have the weed and also the process for the previous here. You can see the interaction option. Just click on here. You can see the proper animation without any issue here. You can see the proper animation without any issue with full interaction. Now you can see the wheat package is added in my inventory. Also, I have the previous ones. Now we'll show you the seller menu for that. We need to create a seller. We will buy our items. We will just go there for the creation of drug, seller separately for the weed. Same command for the drug creation. Click the drug creator, go to the seller section and naming it as a seller for weed. That's it, create that click. The entity, as you can see, enter it. Also, you need to place the pad for that. I'll just, if you want to place the pad, you need to go to the pad section for the five member documentation. I'll give you the link of the five member documentation. You just find the pads, all type up, just copy the any pad name and paste it over there. You can also try the knock on the door for that. I'll just make it also the save system. Depend on the hours. What are the hour and what is the starting time and end saved? Would be also mentioned then is the item. What will be the sold value? And I just make it all and confirm after confirming that here you can see the weed. Pet appeared without any issues. Just go there, open the seller menu. You can find all type of menu. For now, we will just sell the weed section. Here you can see I got the marred money. For that, you can change it to your, of course, the cash section without any issue. So that's it. And one more thing, if you have the police job, I will just make the, if you have the police job, you can do the breaching with the lab here. You can see here, you can see, I breached in successfully. Of course, I have the job, I, I, I buy the contract, so it doesn't show me the like that. But if you does the breaching, it shows everything without any issues. The breaching is working properly. Without any issues, that's it. I'll see you in the next video.